Hey there, and welcome to sunny San Francisco. Clarity has been a spectacular event so far and can't thank Gina Ann and her team enough for putting on such an amazing virtual conference. My name is June Cho and I'm a developer and design evangelist at Zeppelin. Today, I wanna share how Zeppelin can help teams deliver on the promise of design. Since Clarity is a design systems conference, let's start by asking the question, what the big fuss is about design systems anyway? Although the concept of design systems have existed for quite a while, we've really seen the industry invest and scale in this area in the past few years. Why is this happening, you may ask? I think one of the major drivers of this is the strategic role that product design now plays within organizations. Companies like Airbnb, Dropbox, Slack, and many more are showing us how focusing on user-centric design can really create differentiated user experiences and also build great companies in the process. With this increased focus on product design, the role of design systems is becoming critical in creating consistent and delightful user experiences. Some organizations, perhaps like your own, are creating rich design systems to document visual styles, specify layout, copy, provide iconography, and many more. Implementations like this are helping to establish a consistent design language and provide efficiency during the product design process. While this is a great accomplishment, some organizations are doing something even more exciting and impactful with their design systems. They are going a step further by extending all of their design goodness into the next phase of the product lifecycle, the development process. In these cases, Design elements don't just exist in design libraries as artwork and screens used by designers, but extend into the development world where they live as components used by developers, testers, copywriters, product managers, and more. Innovative companies like Audi, Politico, and LastMinute.com are taking this approach and extending their design systems into the development process. They represent the next wave of innovation in design systems and at Zeppelin, we see more and more organizations taking this approach. They are not only establishing design consistency, but are also establishing scalability by extending the impact of design into the development world. At Zeppelin, we believe this is the future in the evolution of design systems. I'm going to share more about how Zeppelin can help you extend your design systems into the development world, but first, I thought it would be useful to share a quick overview of Zeppelin. One of the main challenges in the software development process is the translation of designs into the development world, specifically the manual steps involved in sharing designs with developers and providing them with the precise specifications they need. Even today, many teams are still creating PDFs of their designs, uploading artwork and screens into folders to share the design with developers. And that's bananas. Developers are doing tons of incremental development work to implement design elements they are provided because the specific data they need isn't available to them or isn't in the right format. Zeppelin helps solve these challenges with Handoff Plus. With Handoff Plus, designers can use their existing design tools like Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, and Photoshop to publish their complete designs to Zeppelin and automate the process of sharing designs that are ready for development. Zeppelin stores these complete designs in the cloud and eliminates any need for manual steps like creating PDFs. Zeppelin also provides the precise technical specifications the developers need in order to implement the design in code. This includes colors, dimensions, spacing, and code snippets on the right formats and presented in the way that developers understand. Lastly, Zeppelin also provides innovative tools like Popout which allows the team to contrast the live app that is being built with the source design. It's a super useful feature that our users love. So that is Handoff Plus. Now, let's look at how Zeppelin helps team collaborate. Collaboration throughout the design and development process has always been important, but during these work from home times, it is more important than ever. While there's a lot of collaboration tools available to teams today, users still face several challenges that have been tough to address. Issues like identifying the completed design file can be confusing. Trying to do this in the design tool can be tough, as those tools are built to allow continuous iteration, not discrete production. 
At Zeppelin, we see users doing all kinds of workarounds, like creating duplicate shadow files and design tools to solve for this. Another challenge to collaboration is the complexity of design tools for non-designers. Non-designers often struggle to navigate these tools, understand the structure of the project, and how the screens are organized. Again, teams do all kinds of workarounds to address this. With Zeppelin, we address these collaboration challenges in a few ways. First, we make it easy for designers to clearly define completed designs by publishing them to a Zeppelin workspace. Once in Zeppelin, these complete designs become the single source of truth for the entire team, and everyone knows it is the version that the product should be built from. Also, since designs have been exported from a design tool like Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, or Photoshop into Zeppelin, we make it super easy for the entire team to collaborate by providing a simple and organized place with sections and tags to clearly organize everything. With notes, teams can add feedback comment directly on specific parts of the design, and ask questions. Do you like emojis? So do we at Zeppelin. We made it really easy to add quick reactions and emojis. You can even bring your custom Slack emojis to Zeppelin if you're into that. Lastly, we know that tools like Zeppelin can't live in silos, but rather must be part of the suite of tools that our users leverage to do their work, like Jira, Trello, Slack, and more. Quick story. A couple years ago, we attended a Design Tools Hackathon in Tel Aviv and introduced Zeppelin extensions, which provide code snippets, to an excited group of developers and product teams. You can find these extensions at extensions.zeppelin.io, and it is important to note that the amazing Zeppelin community builds and maintains most of these. The reaction we got to Zeppelin extensions was inspiring. Teams loved them and they wanted even more. They wanted to be able to extend Zeppelin's capabilities and customize the workflows in all sorts of ways. After the event, the Zeppelin crew went back to Istanbul and we built the Zeppelin Open API. The Zeppelin API lets you access all the resources you have in Zeppelin, including projects, screens, components, layers, assets, notes, and more. People love using the APIs and have built everything from internal scripts to full-blown apps. We've also built upon the strength of our API with webhooks. With webhooks, you can build custom workflows to boost your team's productivity, efficiency, and collaboration. You can get notified of changes in Zeppelin and you can take various actions based on these changes. For instance, if there's a note with a keyword, then you can automate creating a Jira issue. Or whenever you export a new icon, you can open a pull request, adding an icon to the repo. These are just a couple of ideas to get you started, but I'm sure you're already thinking about how you can customize your own respective workflow with your team. Webhooks also makes it easier to connect Zeppelin to the apps that you love to use every day. In fact, we developed our Slack integration using private webhooks, and we're also working on a Microsoft Teams integration with these public webhooks. Now, we can build similar integrations with any other product to leverage existing tools and build out custom workflows for your team. Let's get into a quick demo on handoff at Zeppelin, collaboration features, and how Snap Mobile use Zeppelin APIs and webhooks to build a custom mobile app. All right, so today we'll be working out of our Zeppelin Mac app, but feel free to use the web app or the Windows app as well. To get started, let's bring over some screens from Figma into Zeppelin. Let's open our Figma desktop app, but you can use your web browser. Before we start exporting some screens and components from Figma to Zeppelin, we need to make sure that we have installed the Zeppelin plugin. On the left-hand side, you can navigate down to the Community section and click on Plugins and search Zeppelin, then install the plugin. Now, we can hit the Recent tab and let's go into the Travel Project. For this demo, let's go into our web project and export these new guide frames into Zeppelin. First, let's right-click and navigate to Plugins and you should see Zeppelin now as an option. Once you click on Zeppelin, there's a pop-up that states, select frames or components to export into Zeppelin. Now, you can select the guide frames and notice that you can see how many frames you have selected in the pop-up. A little reminder here, make sure you have the Zeppelin desktop app installed before you export from Figma. Let's hit the blue export button. Once Figma finishes exporting, the Zeppelin desktop app is prompted open and you can decide which organization and project you want to export into. For this demo, Let's put these guide frames into our travel app. 
One thing to note is that Zeppelin automatically exports your colors and textiles whenever you export a frame from Figma. We'll check out where the colors and textiles are in Zeppelin a little bit later. Now that we have our frames, colors, and textiles in Zeppelin, let's bring in the rest of our components from Figma. Let's head back into our travel app in Figma and navigate over to the mobile symbols page from this left-hand panel. Here are some new control components that were added. We can repeat the same process as before and open Zeppelin, select all these new control components, then export into Zeppelin. Once in Zeppelin, notice that the new control components have been added. We can now organize them by selecting the components, then creating a new section from selection. Let's call this section Controls. We can also bring in our textiles and colors here as well. From the panel on the left, I can go to the textile catalog and add in all my textiles. We can do the same for colors too. Now that we have our style guide organized, let's do the same for our screens. You can use the tags and sections together to not only sort the screens easily, but also help your team prioritize their work. To create a section, let's hover the cursor between the guide and profile screen. You'll now notice a divider there, and when you click the divider, screens located after the divider will fall into a new section where you'll also be able to name the section. Let's name this section Profile. You can also select all these guide screens and right-click to create a section from your selection, and we can name this Guides. You can drag screens to move between different sections and reorder them. Also, you can click on the arrow button to the right and collapse the section to visually prioritize your work. If you click on the setting button to the right, you can also add a description. Let's add one called Profile Pages for Users to Manage Save Travel Guides. Now that we have our section set up, let's talk about tags. You can add multiple tags to screens and easily locate and filter the content you want to see in two ways. The first way is to select some screens you'd like to include under this tag and right click. Here, let's click the guide screens, right click, and navigate down to manage tags. Notice that there are a few tags created before, but for this demo, let's create a new tag called needs design review. The second way to add a tag is to go into a screen and under the tag section on the right panel, you can click the manage button. Here, let's add in a tag needs legal review. Now, when we go back to the dashboard, you can click on a tag and Zeppelin will show all of the screens associated with that tag. Let's hop back into our screens and go into the guide screen. When we select this book trips button, the developers and designers will know right away the technical specs, textiles, and colors that are used. Zeppelin even highlights that we're using a reusable component here, indicated by this blue header. Notice that when we select this trophy icon, Zeppelin also provides the assets based on your project type. You only need to mark your master components exportable and Zeppelin will take care of the rest. Now that we have our projects and our design system in one place, Zeppelin becomes a source of truth for the whole product team. Before we talk about collaboration, I want to point out how this pop-up feature in Zeppelin makes it so much easier to match the design pixel by pixel. You can quickly compare your apps and websites with the designs as an overlay using pop-out. Let's click on the pop-out button on the bottom left or simply use the shortcut Command-O on the Mac app or Alt-O on the Windows app. Now, we can move this guide screen's pop-out anywhere and overlay on different screen sizes. Pop-out allows developers to compare the implementation with the actual design in Zeppelin, which achieves pixel perfection. Now that we have seen what Zeppelin can do on a fundamental level, let's talk about collaboration with notes and versioning. Let's go back into our web app and look at our guides with booking screen. Notice that we have a note here already, and if you click on it, we can see that Burke says the maximum width for a tag is 200 pixels. Creating a note in Zeppelin is super easy. You can add a note by command and clicking anywhere on the screen. If you're a Windows or Linux user, you can use control instead of command. Let's say that we want to notify our designer that we want to add in a Google Play button right below this Apple Pay button. One thing we can do to make sure our designer, Rulan, sees this note quickly is to simply add her, like so, and say, please add a Google Play button here. Anytime you add someone on your team, Zeppelin automatically sends a notification to that user. Another way to organize your notes in Zeppelin is to use colors. Notice on the top of the note, you can pick a wide array of colors to label the note. 
We understand that as your project and screens mature, it's only natural that you'll have more and more nodes. And this is a really good thing, but it might be hard to find nodes just for you. To solve this potential problem, you can filter nodes in the screen by using the drop-down menu at the bottom right. This will allow you to only view the ones you were mentioned in or ones labeled by a certain color. Lastly, to view all of the open, resolved, or mentioned conversations on the screen, click on the Notes tab on the right panel. In every project, there are countless of design iterations that always happen. Designers like to play with colors, padding, textiles, and it's super hard to keep track. This leads to a lot of back and forth from the designer and the developer. To solve this issue, Zeppelin keeps track of changes made on each screen and displays them under the versions panel. Let's hop into our guide screen and check this out. You can access versions of a screen by clicking the hourglass button on the bottom left hand side. Commit messages should be precise, simple, and answer one question. What has changed in the version? If you want to check out an earlier version, you can click on it or use the up and down keys. All right, let's move on to our case study from Snap Mobile, who uses Zeppelin APIs to create a mobile app. Snap Mobile is a mobile-centric design and development agency based in Europe that are mobile enthusiasts working on iOS, Android, and Flutter. The people at Snap Mobile start using Zeppelin very early on to closely align with their development philosophy and workflow. Snap Mobile believes that Zeppelin is not just a handover tool, but a communication tool because it provides context to designs. Being able to point to a specific component or part of the screen and having a discussion in that context is extremely powerful. In the modern world, we can perform many of our tasks on mobile, but design communication in Zeppelin was not one of them. When a team would get an email notification from a Zeppelin comment, they tried to open them in mobile, but they couldn't reply back or view the designs. Snap Mobile wanted a mobile client for Zeppelin to make design communication easier on the go with mobile. So when Zeppelin came out with the APIs, Snap Mobile really wanted to help the design and developer community by creating a mobile app that's like a messaging application where it's very easy to view the screen and comments. Instead of building an exact replica of the Zeppelin desktop app, Snap Mobile wanted to concentrate on one thing, communication. The app will show you an overview of your projects and detailed info about the screens, including the screen annotations and the screen versions. The app allows you to comment on existing notes, create new notes, and share the screens with the rest of the team. This is just one way to use the Zeppelin APIs. We can't wait to see what you build next. Now that we have gone over what Zeppelin is all about, collaboration features, and how Snap Mobile use Zeppelin's APIs to create an amazing mobile app, let's talk about Global Style Guides. Now that we learned a little more about Zeppelin, let's talk about how you can extend your design systems into the development world. Global Style Guides are the first step. As I mentioned, it's one thing to build a design system that houses all your design elements and defined standards, but it's an entirely different challenge to drive the implementation of those design standards into the development process. This is where Global Style Guides comes in. Global Style Guides extend the design elements that exist in your design system by organizing them into components, colors, technical specs, and textiles that can be used in the development process. They're accessible to everyone on your team, anytime and anywhere. With Global Style Guides, your development partners can see component names from within a design, making it easy to identify reusable design components. They can reuse these components throughout their code development process, which saves a ton of time and effort, and also helps drive design consistency in the end application. It's a great way to achieve that pixel-perfect app that we all want. Style guides can be linked to multiple projects, enabling your developers to reference your design system across all of your projects. You can save and rename fonts, color information, and even export CSS. The style guide and the inspect feature also helps the development team save a lot of effort when the time comes for QA. You can add custom descriptions to each component where you can add a link directly to a code repository or a storybook, making it incredibly easy for developers to find existing code. Global Style Guides help to increase the collaboration between designers and developers, which ultimately leads to a stronger and more widely adopted design system. 
Global Style Guides help you scale the impact of your design system and is the first step in connecting your components to actual production code. If you have a more complex design system in place, spanning multiple platforms, you can create style guide trees with parent-child relationships. This both helps you organize your style guides and allows developers to only see resources specific to their platform. Global Style Guides are completely flexible to meet the needs of your team, big or small. You can build your style guides as complex or as simple as needed. Once you've created a global style guide, all that's left is linking them to your existing and new projects. Link projects will now reference all the colors, textiles, and components from the link style guide and its parent style guides. Now that we know what global style guides are all about, let's hop into a quick demo. Before we jump into global style guides, let's go back to our travel web app and go into this guide screen that doesn't have a style guide yet. When I start clicking on elements, you see what you would normally expect from Zeppelin, such as technical specs, the typeface, hex colors, and code snippets all here on the right-hand side. But what we don't know is if these are part of our design system because we don't have any context for these elements. We also don't know if we are on brand and if we are delivering a consistent experience. Now, this is where global style guides come into play. So if we go back into our workspace and click on the style guides tab, you can see all of our style guides for this project in one place. This is the same setup that we looked at earlier in the slides, and this is where we have the core library, the web and mobile libraries, and the iOS and Android libraries. Let's take a minute to go over the style guide structure. Here, we have the parent base library and this child mobile library and web library on inheriting from the parent library, the textiles, components, and colors. Notice that the mobile library is the parent library for the iOS and Android libraries. Let's take a moment to look at the base library. This about page fully supports markdown for documentation and it's a great spot for pictures, GIFs, emojis, single line code, and multi-line code. Now that we have established our base library, let's dig a little deeper into the web library. Here, you can see that we are inheriting these colors from our base library but notice that we also have some web-specific textiles and components. Let's link this global style guide to our Travel Inc. web project. The first thing we need to do is go back to our workspace by clicking Projects and go over to our web project. Then, click Style Guide on the top, and we can go to the bottom left-hand corner and press Link to Style Guide. Notice that a pop-out window appears and we can choose what global style guide we should link to this project. Since this is our web-specific project, we should select the web library. This will bring in the colors, textiles, and components from our web global style guide. Now, if we go back to our workspace and go to our guide screen and click on the same elements, we're going to get a lot more information. When we click on this element, we now know that this is a section header, the typeface is a header button title, the textile is open sans bold, and the text color before is now Teflon. The blue header indicates that this is a reusable component in our design system. This is going to tell the developer, hey, there is some code that is written and I should go check that out. When we click on the blue header, we can go into the style guide and see where else this component is used. So why are global style guides important to you? Global style guides helps your team keep things organized to ensure that colors, textiles, and components are consistent throughout multiple platforms. Also, developers are able to learn about the design system components from the project that they're working on all in one spot. Lastly, Global Style Guides brings all your components into Zeppelin and that's the first step of connecting components to code. Once your components are in Zeppelin, you'll now be able to link components in your code base to their design counterparts in Zeppelin. Then, while inspecting a design in Zeppelin, you'll be presented with a high-level overview of the component including links to any source of documentation used by your team, like Storybook or GitHub. Whether you use Sketch, Figma, or Adobe XD, Zeppelin integrates seamlessly with any of these tools. In this talk, we unpacked a few things. First, we learned that Zeppelin takes a developer-first approach to design handoff and addresses unique needs, including multiple asset formats, tailored specs, code snippets, and much, much more. During these COVID times, collaboration is more important than ever, and Zeppelin provides rich features like notes and versions to help bring the relationship between designers, developers, and product teams closer than ever before. 
You can also work with your developer to use Zeppelin APIs and webhooks to create anything from amazing mobile apps to custom and automated workflows that is best for your team. Lastly, we learned that Global Style Guides houses all your components and is the first step in connecting your components to developer code. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you learned how Zeppelin can help you deliver on the promise of design and brings a relationship between designers and developers closer than ever. If you want to get started with Global Style Guides, have any questions on what we unpacked today, or just want to chat on all things Zeppelin, feel free to email me at june at zeppelin.io. Have a great clarity, everybody.